Hello friends, welcome back to my channel MEO exams. So friends, in this video we will see the forces which act on the rudder that is the lift force and the drag force and the, we will also see why the rudder angle is limited to 35 degrees. So let's begin with this video. So first see, first let's see the forces, how these forces are developed onto the rudder. So when the rudder angle is changed from zero to some angle towards either port side or starboard side, then on one side of the rudder, the flow velocity will reduce. Okay, friends. And on other side, the velocity of the flow will increase. And this happens because of the shape of the rudder and angle of attack. So because of the Bernoulli's uh, principle, where there is decrease in velocity, there there uh, pressure will increase like over here there is decrease in velocity so this side pressure is more and uh, um, the the portion where there will be increase in velocity like on the top portion there will be decrease in pressure so so the net uh, because of this uh, difference in pressure there will be a net force uh, produced onto this rudder as you can see from this diagram uh, if this this uh, this is this uh, zero line or the chord you will say then this side you can see there is a negative pressure and this side you will see there is a positive pressure onto the profile so because of this difference in the pressure or difference in the pressure region this forces uh, this uh, net resultant force is produced in the uh, onto this rudder so these force these forces are only uh, what to say divided into components and these two components are called drag force and the lift force so let's uh, see what all these drag forces and the lift force and how they uh, help in turning the ship so as we know that this lift force uh, is actually derived from the aeronautical uh, field so as we know this lift force uh, this this aerodynamic profile is actually used in aer uh, aeronauticals and uh, that is why this is uh, this force is actually helps in uh, lifting the plane so the same concept we use for the ship ship's rudder but instead uh, instead of lifting the profile of this uh, rudder is actually oriented in the in the space and this li this lift force only helps in turning the ship So basically with the help of this uh, dimension analysis technique we, we calculate this lift force and the drag force which developed onto this, uh, this rudder profile. Basically this, uh, when this uh, profile is studied for the air then it is called aerofoil and when it is uh, studied for the uh, water then it is called hydrofoils. So before we go any further let's see few basic terms which are associated with rudders so as you can see this is the this is the rudder this is the profile of the rudder then there is something called root cord so this is the root cord which you can see over here this length then there is called tip cord that is the bottom bottom uh, length of the rudder is called the tip cord then we have mean cord mean cord is at the center then there is something called center of pressure. So center of pressure is the point at which the net force acts. Okay, friends. Then there is uh, something called sweep angle. So sweep angle basically tells us about the taper angle, or basically how much the rudder is tapered. So this is calculated by uh, plotting two points, one on the root cord. Uh, or on the uh, this this top part so this length this length over here is actually uh, 1 by 4 of root cord length okay friends and this length is 1 by 4 or 1 by 4 of tip cord length okay friends so when we join these two points then there is a, a line called a center uh, or the rudder center stroke this this basically makes an angle with this uh, 
center line of the stock or redder stock and that angle is called the sweep angle basically it tells about how much the rudder is tapered then the uh, the height of the rudder is is, uh, is called the span there is something called uh, chord line so chord line is basically uh, uh, basic there are uh, two points this is called the uh, this this side is called the leading edge and this is called the tailing edge okay friends and leading edge there will be a point with a minimum radius or minimum nose radius as you can see this is the this is the point where there will be a minimum nose radius so if we join this point with the tailing edge then we get the chord chord line and there is something called camber line so camber line is basically the center line means that uh, if this is the profile of the rudder then this line passes through the center of each cross section if we divide uh, this into cross sections then every cross section will have this uh, center this chord uh, this camber line will pass through the center center line of this uh, profile for the rudder case this uh, chord line and the camber line will be same because it is symmetrical in shape in in bo on both sides so because of that the chord line and center line will be coinciding then there is something called angle of attack so angle of attack is basically the angle made by the inflow or the flow liquid with the chord okay friends so this is the angle of attack so these are the few terminologies which are associated with this rudder then uh, as we have or uh, as i have already told you that there is a net force which developed onto this profile so if we uh, break down this uh, resultant force we basically break down into lift force which is act which acts perpendicular to this inflow direction okay friends and there is a drag force which acts parallel to this inflow direction so with the uh, help of dimension analysis technique we can find out the value of these forces and these forces uh, basically depend upon the projected area of the rudder the velocity the angle of attack and the fluid density and this chord length and the kinematic viscosity basically uh, on these two parameters reynolds number is dependent so indirectly they are also dependent on the chord length and the kinematic kinematic viscosity so let's see uh, how these forces are uh, derived so basically these forces are uh, represented by non dimensional coefficients as you can see over here cl is a non dimensional coefficient which is ratio of the lift force divided by half into density into velocity square into projected surface area similarly goes for the drag force means drag divided by same thing so over here you can see that this uh, coefficient for the lift uh, as well as coefficient for the drag they both depend upon the reynolds number as well as for the uh, at the uh, for uh, angle of attack and we can see over here the reynolds number is dependent on the velocity chord length and the kinematic viscosity as i have already told you so for the starting when the angle of uh, uh, angle is less or angle uh, of attack is zero for in that case we can assume or we can treat or we can split this drag force into two components one will be the frictional drag okay friends so instead of reynolds uh, number it will simply be frictional drag at zero angle of incidence plus the pressure drag which totally depends upon the angle of attack so we can uh, break down this force into two components and at the starting the uh, lift coefficient will uh, will be depending only on the angle of incident okay friends or angle of attack and the the reynolds number will not play any role in the starting starting means at the angle of zero or starting angle of a uh, turn so what happens when we uh, when the angle of attack is increased or when the when we uh, when the angle of rudder is changed so what happens 
so as you can see that initially uh, for aerodynamic profiles as you can see uh, it totally depends upon the this uh, starting angle depends upon the uh, camber so as we know that uh, the radar profile is at actually symmetrical and camber and chord line basically coincide so over here it starts from center okay friends and the drag coefficient as we uh, as we all know is minimum we will have a minimum value sorry not this one this one will will have a minimum value at the start so we can we can see uh, two things uh, from these diagrams that for the rudder the lift force starts from zero whereas the drag force will have a minimum value over here and uh, this uh, lift coefficient it it, uh, it 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 basically increases in linear manner whereas this drag coefficient this also increases in uh, linear uh, linear manner but uh, rises very slowly at first as you can see so when this angle of rudder reaches to around 35 to 40 degrees then what happens uh as the angle of uh, incidence is increase further the curve reduces in shape as you can see over here and the coefficient for the lift that is the lift coefficient it decreases this happens because there is breakdown in the aerofoil or over here it it will be hydrofoil so if we consider this is the angle for 35 degrees so over here there is breakdown in the profile of the uh, flow 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 of the water not the air for this this actually this should be hydrofoil so basically over here the reynolds number comes into play okay friends we, till now we have actually uh, ignored this number reynolds number but uh, over here uh, in the starting the flow was laminar but over here uh, it becomes turbulent so reynolds number comes into play so there is dramatic reduction in the lift coefficient as you can see from this diagram and what happens with the drag there is tremendous increase in drag force okay friends and reynolds number becomes very sensitive or, or at this angle so what finally uh, the resultant of this is that as the lift force is decreased so if we increase uh, the rudder angle further then what will happen the diameter for the turning circle will increase because the lift force is very less and this lift force only provides the moment for turning of the ship so that is why the, if the rudder angle is increased more than 35 or 40 degrees then what will happen the turning radius of the circle will increase because there is a reduction in the lift coefficient or the lift force so this is the main reason that the uh, diameter for the turning circle will increase and that that happens because the lift coefficient or the lift force decreases drastically after uh, 35 degrees 35 degree angle because of the turbulent flow taking place onto the rudder profile so hope you have understood friends so Take care, have fun.